Alright, this video is going to go over my method for calculating an opportunity cost and it should be a fail-safe method. It consists of three steps. The first one you may or may not have to do depending on the problem, but I'm going to go over it anyways, is calculate the difference. The second is write the sentence. The third is to divide. So if you're given a PPF or a table that looks like this, you have different points or different types of production per hour, what have you, here you can produce 10 chairs or 0 TVs, 5 chairs or 10 TVs, 0 chairs or 20 TVs. By calculate the difference, I mean that you take the difference between these points. So moving from A to B is a difference of 5. Moving from B to C is a difference of 5. TVs, 0 to 10 is a difference of 10, 10 to 20 is a difference of 10. So we've calculated the difference, now we need to write the sentence. So let's say that we're going from A to B and we're getting 10 TVs. So the sentence would be, the opportunity cost of blank TVs is blank chairs. So now you fill in these values with what the difference is. So the opportunity cost of 10 TVs is blank chairs, so we have to give up 5 chairs. So now we have our sentence. The opportunity cost of 10 TVs is 5 chairs. Now we need to divide both of these numbers by 10 so that we get the opportunity cost of 1 TV. So divide both these numbers by 10 and rewrite the sentence. The opportunity cost of 10 divided by 10 is 1. TV is 5 divided by 10 or 1 half chairs. So the opportunity cost of 1 TV is half a chair. If you wanted to do it the other way, you could. The OC of 5 chairs is 10 TVs. And then divide both sides by this 5. So we get the opportunity cost of 1 chair. So 1 chair, the opportunity cost of 1 chair is 2 TVs. And by writing this sentence and going through the procedure each time, you shouldn't be able to mess it up. Now if your teacher wants you to do things differently, you can, but use this method as a backup. Okay, so what if you're giving a different format where they show how many chairs, TVs, or whatever goods and services you're doing can be produced per hour instead of that PPF format. So here we have Jill and Tom, and we can still do the same thing we did before except now we don't need to calculate the difference. That's done. Because it's already calculated for us in terms of five chairs per hour or three TVs per hour. So now all we need to do is write the sentence and divide. So for Jill the opportunity cost of five chairs is three TVs. Because she can produce five chairs in an hour or she can produce three TVs in an hour. You then divide by five so that we get one chair and you get the opportunity cost of one chair is three-fifths of a TV. That's for Jill. For Tom, the OC of 10 chairs is 2 TVs. Then divide both sides by 10, and you get the opportunity cost of one chair is one-fifth of a TV. And you can rewrite the sentences for the other way, such as the opportunity cost of three TVs is five chairs, but go through that same method. 
and by writing the sentence and then dividing, you should be able to get it right. I know opportunity costs can be tricky, but this should be a good way to always get this problem right.